and hello everyone welcome back to a new video all right so let's just go after that all right so here is our previous code now we're not going to be using we are going to use for loop but not down to so i believe i actually have explained this before but the book says i haven't so i'm going to assume i have yet to explain this now you can use a for loop or actually any kind of loop to actually go through a string. So let's create a string. S string, which is a string. All right. And now we're going to go S string becomes only Chan. Okay. So here is our string. And Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to loop through this and look for characters like, oh, uh, you know, the vowels. And we're going to count the vowels. So let's go from I becomes 1 to, then I believe I have explained this, but I'll explain it again. Length of S string. So basically what this does, this function, it, you, it gets the length of this. So this length of this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it will be somewhere around 9. And that, that's the length of this string. And that, that's what this returns. So let, let, let's quickly do this. Um, show message. So we can see how long it is. The length of is string. So basically, just to return returns the length of something. There are errors. Uh, string. All oh, right. Excuse me. Int to string. So yeah, the kind of obvious, but remember it does take in an, it does return an integer because it gets the number of characters in a string, the length. So if we were to press this button, see, we'd get nine, just as I said. So it counts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now remember spaces, that will be a 10 because it's still a character. I think the ASCII value for a space is something like 32. I couldn't remember. I haven't used that in a long time. So yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go from 1 to the length of this, which is now 9. We can say 9, but it is more... Um, it is safer and better practice to use length. Even we'll get to arrays later, but you kind of use the same thing with arrays. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find each and every letter that is in vowel. So if s string at position i in, and then we're going to add a. Or let's just use no, no, non capital letters, okay? So just smaller, so we don't have to type in too much. A E I O and U. And then let's create another variable called I count. Alright. So basically, here are our five vowels so if one of these are a vowel it will increment so let's go inc i count whoopsie kind of start a comment there inc i count now always remember to be safe and set your i count or any count variable with numbers in it at the top there so I count is here. So if it is a vowel, then I count will incre increment. And here are one, two, three, four. Four vowels that I can count. So now we're going to return I count. So basically we could use a for loop to loop through a string and find something we want specifically. So let's run this. Click the button, it's four. So yeah, this is just a basic way of going through it. But what you can also do is you can go if 
upper case or lower case it listed how you use that lower case because this would automatically change this capital O into a lowercase o. It will change all of the letters lowercase. And then you don't have to actually type out all of that. So I can go Oni Chan and will still give you the same amount. Oh wait, there's an error. Incompatible strings. Incompatible. Incompatible types. String and ASCII check character. Alright guys, so um, seems you learn something every, every day. <laughs> so it seems that uppercase, uppercase, that's for strings, and lowercase, that's for strings. Upcase, and I don't know what lowercase is, but it seems like upcase is used for characters. So that's very interesting. So remember, a character is just one thing, and we are trying to find the character. It returns a character. We see if the character is that, and you know. So <laughs> it seems like that. Okay. So then we can actually just make all of these a, e, i, o, and u. All right. So remember, uppercase characters, uppercase string. Alright, so now if we run it, we shouldn't have any problems, and we should still get the same number, even though not all of them are uppercase, and you, they should here be uppercase, because we're using upcase. See, we get the same number. So yeah, that's what I wanted to do with, with counting through the characters of a string to find what you're looking for. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all learned something new today and see you all in the next video.